the 2018 Mitsubishi Mirage G4 is the sedan stable made to the Mirage hatchback. And just as with the hatchback, the main reason to consider buying the G4 is its inexpensive price. When new, it's one of the cheapest cars you can buy. If you're on a tight budget, the Mirage represents a viable new car option as well as the warranty coverage and financing benefits that come with it. Just know that you're also getting one of the least appealing cars to drive right now. It's slow, uncomfortable and unrefined. If your budget allows, we suggest going with more practical and desirable subcompact hatchbacks, such as the Kia Rio and Toyota Yerizia. The Mirage might be inexpensive, but rival subcompact sedans still offer more car for the money. What's new? The 2018 Mitsubishi Mirage G4 SS trim level now comes with a 7-inch touchscreen, Bluetooth and a rear-view camera. One of the key benefits of the Mirage is in its comparatively inexpensive price tag, so stick to the base S trim level. It comes with a touchscreen interface, a rear-view camera and Bluetooth connectivity this year, which enhances its appeal. The more you spend on the Mirage, the more it's going to make sense to buy a different kind of car. Trim Levels and Features The 2018 Mitsubishi Mirage G4 is a subcompact sedan offered in two trim levels, S and C. Both trims utilize the same engine, a 1.2-liter three-cylinder engine that produces 78 horsepower and 74 pound-feet of torque. The S gives you the choice between a 5-speed manual transmission or a continuously variable automatic transmission CVT, while the SA is only available with the CVT. Standard features for the base Mirage S trim include 14-inch steel wheels, a rear spoiler, automatic headlights, air conditioning, full power accessories, a tilt-only steering wheel, 60-40 split folding rear seats, a rear view camera a 7-inch touchscreen display, Bluetooth connectivity, and a 4-speaker sound system with a CD player and a USB port. Optional for the S is the smartphone display package. It adds 15-inch alloy wheels, cruise control, a leather-wrapped steering wheel, and a slightly smaller 6.5-inch touchscreen that has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration. The Mirage say includes all of the above along with keyless ignition and entry, fog lights, automatic climate control, an auto-dimming rear-view mirror, a height adjustable driver's seat and heated front seats. Standalone options include various aerodynamic flourishes, added interior lighting, rear parking sensors, and utility items such as cargo nets and mud flaps. Trim tested. Each vehicle typically comes in multiple versions that are fundamentally similar. The S and this review are based on our first drive of the 2014 Mitsubishi Mirage S 1.2 liters inline 3, CVT automatic, FWD. Note, since this test was conducted, the current Mitsubishi Mirage has received some revisions, including refreshed exterior bodywork, new interior materials, optional smartphone integration, revised suspension tuning and engine power. Our findings remain broadly applicable to the 2018 Mitsubishi Mirage G4, however. Dot driving. Combining a tiny three-cylinder engine with a CVT is a recipe for slow-moving transport. The underdamped suspension causes the car to skitter across mid-corner bumps. The brakes at least work well. Acceleration. The Mirage weighs just a bit more than 2,000 pounds, but its engine is not up to the task. A 0 to 60 mph sprint drags out in a laggardly 11.7 seconds. Merging and passing require extra caution. Braking. Around town, the brake pedal feel is jumpy and hard to modulate. Our panic stop test took 121 feet from 60 miles per hour that's respectable, although stability was lacking. Steering. The steering is slow and lacks feel and we can't remember the last time we felt so many kickbacks through the steering wheel. Handling. The Mirage offers little handling grip from its skinny tires, and the chassis is easily upset by any kind of mid-corner road imperfections. It's also highly susceptible to crosswinds. Drivability. Even the slightest push on the gas pedal causes the CVT to drastically increase engine RPM, making the Mirage lurch at low speeds. 
The engine is loud during acceleration and generally unpleasant to listen to. Comfort. The Mirage's front seats are surprisingly comfortable, although the door armrests are made of rock-hard plastic. Over rough roads, the Mirage's ride quality is unduly harsh. Seat Comfort. The seats are cushioned enough for long stints, though they look flimsy and the cloth material feels cheap. There is no center armrest, and door armrests are plastic. Ride Comfort. On smooth roads, the Mirage's suspension feels adequate, but even the smallest bumps can be felt and heard. Serious vibration comes into the cabin. Noise and vibration. The three-cylinder engine sounds rough even at idle. Wind noise is fairly well controlled, but the vehicle is boomy and seems to have a complete lack of sound deadening. Interior. The interior controls work well for the most part. And if you're familiar with Mitsubishi products you'll recognize some of the shared parts. There's more space inside than ya would think, and it's easy to get in and out up front. Ease of use. This is about the most basic interior you'll see these days. The driving position is high, and you can't adjust the distance of the steering wheel. The push-button ignition is oddly located to the left of the steering wheel. Getting and jetting out. Pretty much perfect step in height up front plus large doors make things easy. The rear doors are small, though. The rear seat back is quite upright, and you need to duck your head to avoid the roof. Roominess. Excellent headroom up front and surprisingly good elbow room. In back, knee and foot room are pretty good considering the size of the car. Visibility. Roof pillars are narrow up front for good sight leans, but the rear pillars are thicker somewhat reducing blind spot visibility. Quality. Other than the interior controls, the whole car feels cheap, as if it's made out of tin. If you tap the roof liner, you hear metal. There aren't soft touch surfaces anywhere, and there were some interior rattles over harsh pavement. Utility. While small and lacking small storage space, the Mirage uses its interior space efficiently and is even competitive with cars one class bigger. Small item storage. The center console cup holders don't hold bottles in place, and there isn't much in the way of bins. The door pockets are well sized, and there's a handy key fob pocket. Cargo space. The trunk is large for the class, but it has a small opening. The 60 40 split folding rear seats ensure you have access to what little space is available.